Hey guys, this is Shane with IFU News. Sitting here, we're going to do a ride along video today of a 2011 Shelby GT500. Um, this particular car that we're driving is um, has the SVT performance package. So it is pretty loaded up. It's got navigation. Uh, it's race red, as you can see there in some of the image with the stripes. The uh, SVT track pack gives you different wheels, uh, different tires and a little bit more performance out of the car. Uh, the suspension's tuned for the track. Drives very nice though, surprisingly. I figured the ride was going to be a little bit harsh considering that the uh, suspension was track tuned. Uh, but the car is very nice. Six speed manual transmission, 5.4 liter V8 that's supercharged. So let's go. suspension rides on this car even though it's got the track pack SVT performance package suspension uh, the car rides surprisingly smooth given that the uh, SVT performance package the uh, front wheels are 19 inch wheels on this car and the rear wheels are 20 inch wheels uh, which means it has low profile tires but still the car rides well this is a, a bumpy road I've taken you down this road on a couple of other video ride alongs uh, and, uh, this car, my Mustang, is uh, lowered and it's got a aftermarket performance suspension with some uh, Steeda Sport lowering springs and Coney yellow adjustable shocks. Um, expect a lower car, lowered car to ride fairly rough. Uh, even though the setup I have rides pretty well, this, this car rides a little bit better than that even though it's set up for the track. It's a very nice car. I really, really had a good time driving this car. The, uh, those of you that might not be familiar with the GT500, there, there are some very important differences between this and a standard Mustang. Uh, this being a 2011 is the first year that the GT500 has had an aluminum block. Before this, it's had an iron block. Uh, the aluminum block saves 100 pounds of throw of weight off the front end of the car. Uh, one of the big criticisms that fans of the GT500 have had in general is that the car was always very heavy. Part of the reason it's very heavy is because it used that cast iron block 5.4 liter V8. But now with the aluminum block 5.4 liter V8, uh, the GT500 gets an all aluminum motor just like the uh, Mustangs have had for a while now with the aluminum block 4.6 liter. Uh, but this particular car, like I said, it's the first year of the 5.4 liter that gets an aluminum block. It drives well, it handles very well. Uh, you can carry some serious speed into corners and uh, with the sticky tires that the SVT performance pack brings to the uh, brings to the mix this car rides well uh, the tires if you get some road noise at highway speed uh, if you're going to do that with any performance uh, oriented tire they're, they're just louder than your general average all-season tires anyway it has to do with the uh, how grippy the, the rubber is I believe these tires are 220 tread wear which is very sticky uh, they're pretty good tires the uh, wheels on this car are very attractive. I had more people ask me about the wheels and what they were than I have anything else since I've been driving this car for the last week. Uh, but this car is tons of fun. It accelerates. It's just incredible the amount of acceleration you can get out of this car. Now the six-speed transmission, and one of the things I like so well about the uh, 2011 Mustang GT with the five-liter V8 that I had a couple of weeks ago was that the six-speed transmission was just absolutely silky smooth, had very short, smooth and precise throws. Uh, this particular car, the uh, transmission with the 5.4 is quite a bit more notchy and clunky. When you compare it to the that tone you hear, this car has a, uh, a shift light and a tone that goes off that you can adjust to tell you when to shift. Now I missed the shift there, which is something I haven't quite gotten used to yet on this car. Uh, being that the transmission is so notchy, I guess I have gotten used to the transmission in my uh, my five-speed in my 2010 5.0. Uh, excuse me, the 2010 GT with the 4.6 liter V8. But uh, this this transmission is is a lot more notchy than the 2011 six-speed uh, for the regular GT. I, I can certainly get used to it, but it, it just takes some practice. You can 
miss shifts a lot with this. I particularly missed the first and second. And, uh, you know, I've only had uh, about four days. I was out of town a couple of days when this car was here, so I've only driven it about four days, although I put about 300 miles on the car in those four days. Uh, you know, you can live with this transmission. It's easy to shift. The clutch is surprisingly light considering the car has over 500 horsepower. Uh, this is the fastest stock Mustang that Ford has made. Uh, this thing has loads of power, loads of torque. You can get this car completely sideways with traction control on uh, if you turn the traction control into sport mode. Uh, the car is surprisingly capable on the highway. That was one of the things I was very impressed about. I took this car on two road trips last weekend, and uh, it's about 200, little over 200 miles, uh, both trips. And this car, I could live with this car every day. You can get in this car and drive across country and be comfortable. You're not going to mistake this car for a Lexus or you know a Mercedes, something that's made for a smooth ride. It's got road noise. You know, it's it's rougher than a luxury car. It's not meant to be a luxury car. This car is the epitome of a Grand Tour. It rides well enough that you can get in it and go anywhere in it. And if you end up on some curvy roads along the way, you can run this car like a bat out of hell and have tons of fun. It, it rides well. It performs very well. It's a damn good looking car. Everybody, I've had everybody from women to 90 year old men stop me driving this car and ask me what it is. The old guys always want to tell me about the, yeah, the dudes they knew back in the day that had the original Shelby Mustangs. This car has a ton of heritage. It looks good. It performs well. And it's it's just a hell of a lot of fun. I, you know, you can't go wrong with this car. One of the only downsides to the Shelby GT500 is the price tag. Now, this particular car stickers at about $57,000. And that's straight MSRP. You will be hard-pressed to find one of these cars at MSRP. And if you can find one below this car, I would eat my shorts. I, I just don't think you're going to be able to find this car below MSRP. In my area, in Austin, they're adding $7,000 to the MSRP of this as a market adjustment. I have been told by some other people that in other markets, GT500 for 2011 are bringing as much as $20,000 more than MSRP. And I haven't verified that, but I was told that by some of the guys that deliver these cars for Ford, and they should know that stuff. They go into all sorts of markets. Uh, this car is awesome. It's going to be collectible. Now, you know, any, is it with any collectible car, you're going to have to buy this thing. You're going to have to leave the plastic on the seats. You're going to have to poke it away in a garage and not drive it for it to be collectible. This car is meant to be driven. It's going to hold its value more than a normal Mustang. Uh, it's definitely going to hold its value more than a modded normal Mustang. Uh, you will probably be able to find this car in a couple of years after it's been you know, driven and maybe 50,000 miles on it. You'll probably be able to pick one up in the mid-30s, maybe high 30s. Uh, but I love this car. It, it's great fun, and I wish it was mine. And if I didn't know the guys from Ford would sick the police on me, I might have gone with it to Mexico. Uh, they might not be able to catch me, though, since the uh, Ford GT is non-existent before I got there. Anyhow, this is Shane, i for you news Fantastic car. I highly suggest you get one if you can afford it. You can find it. They're only making 5,000 of these things this year, and about, what, 3,000 of them are already spoken for. So good luck getting one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.